Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your April 2023 general readings. We are looking at uh, the first half of April from the 1st through the 15th, and this reading is for the fire sign of Sagittarius. Welcome. I hope everyone's doing well as we continue to ease into spring here. Thanks for taking the time to watch any of these videos on my YouTube channel. For those of you who like, share, and subscribe, and pass it on, a big thank you to you as well. It all makes a huge difference. So Sagittarius, this is for you for the first half of April 2023. If your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign is in Sagittarius, if you're cross-watching for a Sagittarian, this is also relevant. Uh, make sure to watch any or all of your signs, sun, moon, rising, Venus, if you know them for any additional insight and perspective. If you find that something uh, does resonate with you, please... Feel free to reach out if you would be interested in taking a deeper look or maybe reaching out for a personal reading or information about that for yourself or as a gift for someone else. Just feel free to email me directly at maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com. You can also get that contact info by clicking the description link or just clicking the title of this video. I would love to hear from you and I can usually respond the same day with more information. I do offer quite a wide variety of choices for personal readings in all areas of life. So email me if you'd like. Okay, Sagittarius, let's see what the first half of April looks like for you, 2023. I am using the Tarot of Dreams and clarifying with the Radiant Rider weight. <laughs> we begin with a little defensive energy, the Seven of Wands. Standing guard, towing the line, holding the line not giving up, defending, protecting, guarding something, someone, ideas, something you're standing for. The Six of Cups. For some of you, this might be a soulmate energy. This is something, the Six of Cups is, is a card that's often associated with history. Roots of origin, nostalgia, reminiscence, could be all the way back to childhood, family, roots of origin, or just simply people, places, situations you have some kind of already previously established history with. There's defending that or standing up for that. I don't know. We'll clarify with the Ace of Cups. Aces represent the number one, so a new start, a new beginning, a new opportunity. Emotional, because this Cups is governed by the element of water, which governs our emotional landscape. Could be new love and romance for some of you. A heart opening up again. With the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Showing up as a queen, but this is a general reading, could be male as well. Very spiritual individual, the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is very emotionally mature and evolved. Very in touch with her own emotions as well as the emotions of the people around her. Great source of love, support, feedback, advice. She's very spiritual as well. The only one more spiritual than the Queen of Cups, I think, in the tarot is probably the High Priestess. So some of you might be meeting somebody, new love and romance. This might be an already established partner with whom there is a renewal. Or there might be some issues here because we're defending something. Next we have, yeah, the Six of Swords, Healing. So just, healing, of course, implies that there's something you need to heal from, right? Six of Swords, slowly but surely moving away from the choppy waters behind you, muddy, turbulent, whatever the issue or challenge is. You're moving into calmer, more peaceful, placid, harmonious place times now. It's not complete yet. You're still in motion. You're not quite to the other shore and on solid ground yet, but you're headed in the right direction. With the seven of coins, taking stock, taking inventory, asking yourself, with everything that I've invested in this thing, is it worth holding on to? This is what I have to show for my efforts. Is it enough? Can I make it better? If so, how? Or should I just take what I can and move on to something else or someone else? Some of you may end up making the decision that in order to heal, you're going to have to move away from the source of whatever it is that's been the source of challenge or chaos or illness or strife, at least for a time. From the bottom of the deck, the overall energy. Oh, oh, one was sticking to the other. I'm going to take them both, temperance and the ten of wands. 
So temperance is about balance. It's about staying in the middle. It's about neither too much of one nor too much of the other. It's learning how to shift and adjust for things without losing your balance. The only way you can do that is by staying grounded, staying in the center, right? But the Ten of Wands is the opposite of that. The Tens represent cycle endings or cycle fulfillment. The Ten of Wands is somebody who's been... It, you know, it might have started off as one wand or two wands, but slowly it's become just a burden and it's too heavy here. This is somebody who's at the end of the rope and he's like, I'm, I got to lay this burden down. I can't do it anymore. It's too much for me. This is too much. And I can see that here because there, there isn't a balance and that's the overall energy. <coughs> Excuse me, Sagittarius. That's the overall energy for the first half of April is I am out of balance. I've been out of balance for a while. It just keeps getting worse. And I need to I need to lighten the load here. And it looks like that's what you're considering. And some of you may just decide, you know, it might be painful, it might be difficult, but I need to cut some things out of my life in order to have some healing and regain some balance. This is kind of like the whole two-week period of time. But let's clarify because that's what we do. Let's clarify that overall energy of temperance and the Ten of Wands. Justice. Well, that makes sense because justice is about what's fair and even and equitable. Because obviously somebody here does not feel like, you know, something's out of whack here. In a relationship, in a work situation, regardless of what this is, you know, justice means that things are fair, they're even, they're equitable for everyone. Um, because somebody is overburdened here. Somebody is doing more of the work, which means that somebody else is taking more than they're giving. That's kind of the gist of this whole thing. Something's out of whack, something's out of balance, somebody is just feeling worn out and tired, and they're like, I, I don't know if I, I, I can't do this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. How can I, what do I need to do moving forward? Let's clarify that but somebody's like, do I hold on to this or do I not hold on to this? I mean, the Seven of Wands and the Six of Cups. I have a lot of history with the thing. I don't know what it is, person, place, situation, job, something. Do I hang on to it or not? There's a lot of history here. Let's clarify that. Yeah, decisions. Do I hold on to it? Do I not hold on to it? The emperor, judgment. Judgment is that life path crossroads card. I'm trying to make a major decision here. And typically judgment is final. It means that... Um, it means the outcome is fairly final. Meaning that if you choose to stick with the old, then that's pretty much where you're just going to be, right? For quite a long time, if not the rest of this lifetime. If you make a decision to move into another direction, that's going to be a game changer. Your life's going to change. You're just going to go in a different direction, right? So choose carefully because the results of judgment are usually final. They're not reversible. The emperor, this is about making the best decision for everyone. This is about um, but I, I mean here it, it's not self-sacrificing yourself because I don't believe you should do that either. The emperor is about being mature and disciplined in spite of what his own emotions might be. The emperor can set his emotions aside, not forget them, but set them aside and go, you know what, this is really the right decision to make and I need to make that decision regardless of what that decision is. Six of Cups, History, Roots, Nostalgia, Soulmates. The world, strength. The world is the last major arcana card in the tarot. It's about leveling up and graduation and a final ending to a cycle so that a new one can begin. Strength is facing fears, doubts, and securities. And you could read this two different ways, Sagittarius. It's time to either step up and make the commitment and go to a new level in this thing or have the strength, courage, wisdom, and humility to go, you know what, I need to cut this out because this is never going to be what I need it to be, what's healthy for me. So I need to have the strength to walk away from it. It's one of those two things for you guys here. Let's clarify this Ace of Cups, Queen of Cups.
Knight of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Interesting. Knight of Pentacles. Knights represent offers and opportunities for change, the speed at which situations move. I've heard it said that the Knight of Pentacles, because he's the Knight of Earth and therefore more cautious and detail-oriented, is slow. But I don't feel that way. All four of the Knights are movers. All four of the Knights move faster than the other pip cards. The Knight of, of Pentacles, though, is the Knight of Earth. So he is more solid, stable, cautious, detail-oriented. So he might move a little slower than the other Knights, but he's not slow. He moves. He's a Knight. He's got a mission and a quest to accomplish. But I call him my Steady Eddie because he always gets there. He doesn't get distracted. He doesn't run off in different directions. He goes step by step and he always gets there. So this is moving. This is moving steadily and in a smart way towards something but it's clarifying the ace of cups three of cups social card kindred spirits your friends your community for some of you this might be a new love that is beginning within your friendship circle or within your community circle something like that moving slowly but surely towards this it could also be some of you are moving slowly and surely towards a new emotional beginning of some kind with the help of your friends steady but certain let's what's this queen of cups some of you i think this queen of cups might represent the other person which could be a queen or king of cups cancer pisces scorpio sun moon rising venus some of you it might be just your intuition knowing that slowly but surely you're going to get to you're moving towards a new beginning oh the high priestess the other super spiritual yeah i think you know there's a sense of knowing with the high priestess intuition or higher self or gut instinct whatever you want to call it it's our connection to the divine by which we feel led in one way or the other even if it goes against external things or people's opinions it's like yeah but this i feel like this is happening or i feel like this is the right thing slowly but surely you're headed towards a new beginning Let's clarify the end here. Six of Swords, Healing, Seven of Coins, Consideration. Queen of Cups again. And again, if this is another person, you can read it as a queen or a king. The Fool and the Eight of Cups, leaving something behind that's ultimately unsatisfying or unfulfilling or has run its course. The Fool, the Zero, the first card in the major, the first major arcana card in the tarot, leaving something behind which is no longer serving you or no longer working for you in order to start a brand new journey. Your path lies in another direction here. If 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 there's somebody else who doesn't want you to go in that direction, but they're not willing to come with you make the right choices to come with you, then then this is about moving forward anyway, because it obviously needs to happen for healing, because it feels like you are way more overburdened than you than you should be at all. Let's see what's next. The Tower and the Seven of Wands, defend, again, I, I, this is clarifying what you're considering here. It's like, do I hold on to it or do I just let it all fall? Do I let it crumble? I, I think you know. I think you have a sense of knowing that um, if it doesn't transform completely, you need to go in a new direction. A direction I think you're already beginning to head into knowing that it's the right direction for you. That's what it feels like. All right, Sagittarius, let's end with any advice or guidance for Sagittarius for the first half of April 2023. <laughs> Talk about a new direction, the Ace of Pentacles, moving in a new direction. Some of you, it might be more practical because this is the Ace of Earth. Uh, moving, relocating, new job, new love, a whole combination of all of those things. Three of Wands, Three of Swords, laying the groundwork for a better and brighter future for yourself, even if it means some emotional pain in the present, because you can let go of a bur of this burden, right? Oh, and then we end with the Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Cups. Either there'll be a transformation of this already current relationship, or Spirit's bringing you one that's more perfectly suited for you partnership or union that can be love and romance for some of you it might be business partnership for some of you you know different best friend take it as it resonates right i'm gonna leave it there it feels like a good place to stop 
uh, Sagittarius, those are your messages for the first half of April. I hope you enjoyed them, found them at least useful or gave you some food for thought. Again, if this resonates with you, if you really do relate to it, and you'd like to, you know, pull the curtain back, take a deeper look, reach out for a personal reading for yourself or as a gift for someone else or both. Feel free to email me directly at Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. You can see that contact info by clicking the description link with this video. I just click the title of this video. I will see you all in a couple of weeks for the April mid-month readings. Stay safe, stay well. Hope to see you back here again soon as we continue to transition to another spring. Take care. Bye-bye.